Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. And um, I want to discuss a few things in today's video. Um, with the first one being that um, according to Forbes, um, we all know what Forbes is. Um, Forbes is a magazine publishment company, um, right? And they are projecting and saying that Lotto may win a Grammy. They are saying that Lotto is going to win a Grammy as the best new artist at the 2023 Grammy Awards. Okay. Um, yeah. So, you know, Forbes has insider ears. You know, they have information on what's going on with the Grammys because they are Forbes. So, allegedly, they may know what is going on more than the public does. But my question is how is lotto getting best new artist and she only has one song that is significant to her career okay in order to be best new artist i think personally you need to have an entire album do well okay your album that you put out as the breast as a best new artist needs to do numbers and i don't think lotto had our album did good lotto sold, sold 20k lotto sold 20k um so for her to be getting allegedly even nominated to me is a stretch she shouldn't even be getting nominated for best new artist why is lotto getting nomination for best new artist at the grammys do y'all feel like lotto should be getting best new artist at the grammys like the grammys are a joke the grammys is a big joke okay and you know to be doing this with one song is not really like a brag you know some lotto fans may comment and say well the fact she only got one song out and she's nominated for a grammy oh my gosh she's iconic she's iconic that's actually sad that she can't get another hit that's the sad part about it um yeah and typically people who win best new artists um sadly it's like a, a curse as of recently those who get the best new artist award they flop or they already were flopping when they got the award for example megan Thee stallion where is she at where what is she doing now okay um yes yeah, she still makes music but it's not selling it's not selling um and if lotto gets that award i'm sorry but that would be sad you got best new artist grammy but you can't even sell more than 100k on your album that's kind of embarrassing but yes i don't know if she's going to get the award but knowing how this industry loves to spite Nicki minaj and you know make Nicki minaj look like the odd one out when it comes to the grammys they love they would love to award every other female rapper but nikki with a grammy and we all know nikki not nikki minaj does not need a grammy does she deserve it of course but she doesn't need it um because we all know the grammys have lost their credibility for sure but it's just interesting how the grammys is going to be allegedly just throwing away <coughs> they're just going to be given they're just giving out awards at this point they give out awards to random people and unqualified people. So I wouldn't even be surprised if they gave Lotto <laughs> a damn Grammy at this point. At this point, a Grammy don't mean that much. And yes, so do y'all think Lotto needs a Grammy? Do y'all think she deserves it? Or do y'all agree with me and y'all think that it's too early for her to get a Grammy? Um, she doesn't even she doesn't even deserve best new artist. Okay, do y'all think she deserves it or not? Let me know. We can discuss it because I know people are going to be in the comment section trying to tell me that Lotto deserves a Grammy. Delusional, 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 delulu. Okay, yeah, but moving on, I kind of want to discuss, you know, a lot of people have been talking about how um, Nicki Minaj has actually been doing better numbers than Beyonce. Um, and when I mention this, it's not to compare. It's actually to celebrate both of them because Nicki and Beyonce have been on their stuff. But the fact that Nicki Minaj is surpassing, you know, Beyonce when it comes to her most recent single it is crazy to see like um super freaky, super freaky girl has been doing way better than break my soul um and everybody's noticing that everybody's paying attention to oh wow Nikki's out doing break my soul um yeah so um super freaky girl by Nicki Minaj was released two entire months later okay after break my soul came out all right and it has surpassed Beyonce in streams, despite it being out later. Um, it hit 232 million streams, and Breakman Soul has 231 million streams um, on Spotify. 
So Nikki is doing it big. She's doing it big as always. And I'm not really surprised because Super Freaky Girl is more of a hit to me because it debuted at number one and Beyonce did not debut at number one. Um, and like, again, I'm not comparing them because um, one is a rapper and one is not a rapper. One is a singer. Like, you know, it's just two different, really complete lanes, two different styles of music. One And yes, but um, are y'all surprised that Nikki is, you know, surpassing Beyonce this time around? Are y'all surprised? Um, me, I'm not. I'm not surprised. Um, yeah. Uh, Beyonce's album was good. I liked it. But a lot of songs on there are kind of forgettable. But the good songs are good. But some of the other songs, they're just forgettable. Um, but yes, her album rollout was good. You know, it was good to promote Break My Soul. Because it did go number one after the album came out. But it's just not a strong record compared to a, you know, more mass appeal, like super freaky girl. Okay? And yes. Okay, y'all. So FIFA, 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 Nicki Minaj will, you know, be doing FIFA allegedly. Allegedly, there has been some word that she's going to be doing FIFA. And she's basically working on, you know putting out music for the world cup and she's working on that with fifa in the case you guys do not know the world cup is bigger than the super bowl okay it is projected to have about five billion people watching um which is major for Nicki minaj it's major for any artist if you're going to be honest here and that is just a lot of people watching okay and i hope that this comes out like i hope well, I think the World Cup is coming up soon. Yes, it is. But I hope Nicki Minaj releases her album around that time period. Um, so that way she will have a big promotion around that time for her album. So she works on a song for the World Cup. And then she comes out and releases her album shortly after. So that way she can get promotion um, to her album. Um, which I'm sure the album's already going to do well. I'm pretty sure it's going to do well. But um, yes, hopefully that happens now. We're all excited to, you know, see what happens with the World Cup in that situation. But yes, y'all, are y'all excited? Are y'all ready to tune in? Are y'all ready to listen to whatever is coming out, hopefully, with the World Cup? Um, yes. Now, I did see some people saying that Nikki hasn't, like, publicly confirmed it yet, like, vocally. But she did, like, a tweet regarding it. So, but yes, y'all, let me know how you feel. Let me know how you feel about everything. And, uh, yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, that is all I have for you in today's video. And, uh, yes, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.